He who laughs last didn't get the joke. A few months ago, I made a video demonstrating what will happen if you transmit on an HT, that's what the experts call a walkie-talkie, what exactly will happen if you transmit on a walkie-talkie with no antenna attached? I transmitted on this cheap Chinese radio for a cumulative total of about 10 or 15 minutes, five or six minutes at a time. And as you can see, you would have seen if you watched the video, nothing happened. This radio still works just fine. And oh, all the experts did not like that video because for years all of the online experts have been saying that if you transmit on any radio without an antenna for any amount of time ever in any way you will permanently damage that radio no ifs ands or buts no conditions go check in any online gmrs or ham radio or cb radio forum you'll see it all over if you transmit no antenna, you will have a dead radio. This radio still works just fine. Now in that video, I did not say that you should go do this. I never said you should transmit without an antenna. That's another thing that all the experts seem to get wrong, leaving many comments that I was encouraging people to do this when in fact, had they actually watched the video, they would have seen that I specifically said, don't try this at home. It's not a good idea. But my cheap Chinese radio did in fact survive so apparently, I proved all those experts wrong. And as you can imagine, there was much butthurt. Amongst all of that ongoing butthurt, many of the experts said, Oh yeah? Let's see you try that with a 50 watt radio. Challenge accepted. So today, I will be taking this 50 watt radio and I will be transmitting on it without an antenna to see what happens. According to the experts, it should stop working and pretty much burn up almost instantly. Let's see if they're right. Now allow me to specify and clarify how this is going to work because if I'm not extremely specific in what I say and what I do, all of the experts will leave comments saying I did it wrong or you should have done this, you should have... This is how it's going to work. I will take this radio. This is a BTEC 50X1 GMRS radio. I will remove the antenna. I will supply power to it from a 13.8 volt power supply. I will connect to the microphone. I will push the button on the microphone, thusly transmitting without an antenna, and we will see what happens. Before I begin, I will do a power output test to see what the power output is before I do anything. And throughout the testing, I will do power output tests to see if any damage is occurring. In my previous video, it was suggested that I should leave the power meter on the radio while transmitting without an antenna. But if I do that, the experts would then say that the power meter was acting as an antenna, thusly invalidating my test. This should be a very quick video because according to all the experts, this 50 watt radio will instantly or nearly instantly be damaged and stop working. Let's see. So I have my BTEC 50X1 here. I will have it set on channel 21. The channel shouldn't matter according to all of the experts, but I'm sure they'll leave comments saying I picked the wrong channel. I will be using my Surecom SW102 to measure the power output. So our beginning power output is 43 watts. I will now remove the power meter. As you can see, there is no antenna attached to the antenna hole. And I will be using my highly accurate timer. I'm sure some of the experts will complain saying that this is not a precision enough instrument to measure the time. Sometimes it's funny to read the comments that they leave. Now allow me to preface before I press this button, I do not know what's going to happen. If I was a betting man and I had to guess, I would say that after some amount of time, there will be damage caused. 50 watts is a lot of electricities, and if they have nowhere to get out, if they're all screaming to get out of that radio. So my guess is this radio will not survive. This is why I recommend that you never try this at home. This is why I'm here, so that I can do these stupid things so that you don't have to. Because if I haven't told you, you are my favorite viewer. All right, let's get started. 
We'll start with short time intervals and go on longer. We'll see what happens. I am now transmitting. You should be able to see there the power and the time indicated there. Okay, 30 seconds. I should point out that this radio does have a timeout timer, a talk out timer, so that it will only transmit for a set amount of time before it automatically stops transmitting. I have set that at 600 seconds. That's the highest it will go, so I won't be able to transmit for more than 10 minutes at a time. So let's do a quick power measurement and see how much damage has occurred. 43 watts after 30 seconds. All right, let's go for one minute. One minute is a long time. Take this time to read through the comments. If you're an early viewer, if you're viewing this after I just posted it, come back in a day or so. Sometimes it takes some time for the experts to come out. Oh, I hear the cooling fan just kicked in. And I smell something. It's spinning up and I do smell heat. Does not smell good, and it does not sound good. All right, one minute. Sounds like a frickin' jet engine. All right, it's cooling off. We'll give it a second to catch its breath. It's warm, it, it's not too hot, but it is warm. And I do smell the distinct odor of burning dust. So let's see how damaged it is. 42, 43 watts, pretty much the same. So that was 30 seconds, nothing happened, plus one additional minute. It did get warm, the fans did spin up, and it didn't smell good. So at this point, I am getting a little nervous. We're gonna go for two minutes. Let's see if it will survive. Fan kicked in sooner that time. I smell the distinct smell of burning dust and insects. I took this radio out of my wife's Jeep. I have replaced this with a KG-1000G. So this has been in her Jeep for the last two years or so. So it's full of dust. There's a lot of dust inside there. Fan is at full blast. Chassis was very hot. Still touchable, but hot. Fans are still spinning, full bore. Poor little thing is trying to cool itself down. Take a reading while it's still hot. Drop down to 39 watts. So I think it is safe to say it's feeling the pressure of trying to prove the experts wrong. I will let it cool down. And then we'll go for three minutes. Three minutes with a cumulative 30 seconds, one minute, two minute, and then three minutes. If it still works after all of that cumulative time, I think it would be safe to say that the experts were wrong. But to be fair, this radio is sweating. I can hear it screaming out. It's begging for mercy. Fan is spinning down. Still feels hot to the touch. Warm to the touch, very warm. I wouldn't call it hot. All right, the fan has spun down. Let's go for three minutes, and I think after that amount of time, it will be safe to say that the experts were wrong. Fan is up at full bore already. Use your imagination for a minute and imagine the BTEC Baofeng lady's little voice screaming in agony, begging, begging for mercy. Baofeng lady, you shall receive no mercy today, for the experts have spoken.
I don't smell the burning dust and insects like I did before. They must have all sizzled off by now. Chassis is very hot. All right, three minutes. That chassis is hot. Almost too hot to touch. The fan sounds like an Intel-based laptop. Let's take a reading while it's still hot to see how much damage has occurred. 35 watts. And I'm keying up now for quite a long time. So it is dropping in power, 29 watts. It is throttling down. I'm actually keying up now. We might as well, you know what? Let's just start a timer. Damn it. All right, it's only already been going for a few seconds. So let's see what's happening now while I'm transmitting and it's hot. So the, it is throttling down. So I was slow in starting the timer. It was already going for 10, 15 seconds. So we've got a total of about over 30 seconds. So it does throttle down. It's at 15 watts. Oh, and it's, I've got the dummy load on here now, so it's, this is a relief, so this isn't a valid test. I would disconnect my dummy load, but I don't want to hurt my meter. Fuck it, I can buy a new one. That's what I do with all the money that the members, the supporting members send. All right. Let's see what happened. All right, so you can see the SWR just went up. Power had throttled down to seven watts. Now the meter itself will act a little bit as an antenna. So that will allow some of the RF electricities out, but not many. So the power is now down to 7.1 watts. I also have it laying down now. I was holding it up, so it's not gonna be able to cool itself as well. See if I can do this. I've only got two hands. Oh, it shut down, turned itself back on. It does not like that. All right, so two minutes with the meter. Actually more than two minutes because I was late starting it. Uh, this time laying down flat, so it wasn't cooling as well. It did throttle down to seven watts and it shut off for a second. So that was probably the thermal breakers kicking in. So what I'm gonna do now is allow it to cool off and I'll do one final power output test just to see if it's come back to its normal power output. It's really hot. This poor thing. Let's see how long it takes for it to cool down. It is still on, it does still work, but it did switch off for just a second and then switched right back on. All right, fan is starting to spin down a bit. All right, she's catching her breath. So I'll let it cool all the way off and then I'll take one final power output reading to assess the damage. And then I'll stick an antenna on it and give somebody a call, see if they can still hear me. Because if I don't, the experts will say, well, obviously it doesn't actually transmit anymore, blah, blah, blah. The fan pretty much just kicked off. Took over four minutes to cool down that time. So let's take one final power reading. 44 watts. 44, 43. Fan kicked right in that time. She's not messing around now. She's learned from her mistakes. She knows what'll happen if she waits longer. I will now hook up an antenna. So I probably should have checked to make sure somebody was on the air before I did this, but I will call out to my friend Chris. As we all know, the real hero of this channel without whom nothing would get done. He's been sick lately with a strange cough and fever. So hopefully he's feeling better. Hey, Chris530, do you copy? Are you on? Presentation, go ahead. Over there. Hey, Chris, it's Randy. Uh, am I coming in? How do I sound? One, two, three, four. You sound good. You are on camera, sir. Uh, so say hello to all of your fans who have come to love and adore you. Roger that, sir. How are you guys? This is Chris, WRMZ530. 
They all really want to know how you're feeling today because I told them you had COVID. Um, a little under the weather today, but uh, feeling better already. Uh, should be old. That was somebody stepping on them. That's what that noise was. Roger that. Thank you. Would you say this radio is working as you would expect it to work? Yes, sir. Sounds really good on my end. So as you heard, the radio still works and Chris is feeling better. The fans are kicking in much sooner now. Uh, and the warbling noises that you heard was uh, some of our neighbors trying to step on Chris. So there you have it. This cheap Chinese little radio just went for several minutes. Total, full power, 45 watts, no antenna. It did not burn up. It still works. Now, as I've said already, at least once, do not try this at home. Maybe it's only the cheap Chinese junk radios that can survive this sort of abuse. I do not recommend you do this. I do it for you. That's why I'm here. But now what I would love to hear, I would love to see comments from all the experts to explain how this is possible. Because in all the online comments saying that your radio will burn up, your radio will die, never transmit without an antenna, no mention was ever made of unless this or this or this or this. It's just don't do it. Your radio will die. My radio didn't die. We'll need an expert to explain to us why it didn't die. Obviously, it was throttling down. The fans were kicking in to keep it cool. She was screaming. She was hurting. There was a hurting, but it survived. 